Can you run through for us the primer coat, the seal off coat, and the benefits of doing that? When you take a primer across the surface, let's say you dip and roll versus using a flat blade, whether it be a window squeegee, a flat blade squeegee, a drywall tape knife on a pole, however, the difference being is rollers create an energy when they flip. So they can actually help draw tension. The thicker you go, the more tension you create. So the theory's always been, well, if I'm getting bubbles, I'll just go thicker and it takes care of it. You're actually exacerbating the problem. The nice thing with 100% solid epoxy as an example is if you take a flat material and you start going over it, if you listen carefully in a lot of cases where there is a high amount of air in the substrate or a fractured surface where you have a lot of aggregates, you'll hear it popping that air as you're coming across it versus when you roll it. Drip some water on a table, you'll see it kind of crowns up because there's tension. Surface tension. Same thing happens on that floor. You're putting even more material in some cases down and then you're just rolling it around to level it out. Take that same bead and you touch it, it breaks the surface tension and it flattens out. Well, that's what that drywall tape knife or a window squeegee flattens that out. It takes the tension and reduces it mm -hmm. so it's not sucking air out and it's pushing the air out of the surface and allowing the liquid to soak in and fill the cavity. If you're just rolling across it, you're not breaking the tension as well and it's sitting at the top and it's sucking it up and creating a vacuum and pulling the air out of the substrate. Okay.